Hello everyone, what is mobile computing? Mobile computing is a technology that provides an environment that enables us to transmit data from one device to another device without the use of any physical connection such as cable or link. In other words, you can say that mobile computing allows transmission of data, voice and video via a computer or any other wireless device without being connected to any physical link. In this technology, data transmission is done wirelessly with the help of wireless devices such as mobile phones, laptops, tablets and so on. For example, let's just say you are sitting at your home and your friend is sitting at a coffee shop in a different city. You have a video file on your device that you want to send him. So what would you do? You would just simply open your device and send the video onto his device. As you can see there is no physical connection between them. File is transferred wirelessly. This is only because of mobile computing technology that you can send and receive data from anywhere. It is one of the fastest and most reliable sectors of computing technology field. Ok now what are the types of mobile computing? It has three types, mobile communication or infrastructure, mobile hardware and mobile software. These types are also known as the major components of mobile computing. Let's discuss them one by one. Mobile communication or infrastructure. It defines a framework that is responsible for the working of mobile computing technology. So in this case mobile communication refers to an infrastructure that ensures smooth and reliable communication between wireless devices. This framework also ensures consistency and reliability of communication among Wi-Fi devices. Mobile communication framework includes wireless networks, protocols, services, bandwidth and data format necessary to facilitate and support the stated services. Keep in mind the main purpose of mobile infrastructure is to ensure that there is no collision with other existing systems that offer the same service. Mobile communication or infrastructure can be divided into the following four types. Fixed and wired. In this configuration, devices are fixed at a position and they are connected through a physical link to communicate with other devices. For example, desktop computers. Fixed and wireless. In this configuration, devices are fixed at a position and they are connected through a wireless link to make communication with other devices, such as Wi-Fi routers, communication towers. Mobile and wired. In this configuration, some devices are wired and some are mobile. They all together make communication with other devices, for example, laptops. Mobile and wireless. In this configuration, devices can connect to any network without the use of any wired device. They can also communicate with each other irrespective of their position, for example, Wi-Fi dongle. Now the second component of mobile computing is mobile hardware. Mobile hardware consists of mobile devices, all device components that are used to send and receive the service of mobility. Examples of mobile hardware can be laptops, tablets, portable PCs, personal digital assistants, smartphones and so on. These devices are inbuilt with a receptor medium that can send and receive signals. And they are full duplex which means they can send and receive data at the same time. They don't have to wait until one device has finished communicating for the other device to initiate communications. Finally, mobile software. It is the actual program that runs on mobile hardware. What it does is deal with the characteristics and requirements of mobile applications. You can say this is the engine of mobile device. In simple terms, it is the operating system of any computing device and also the crucial component that operates the mobile device. For a laptop, this may be Windows, Linux or Mac operating system and for a smartphone, it may be Android or iOS. Since portability is the main factor, this type of computing ensures that users are not tied to a single physical location but are able to operate from anywhere. It combines all aspects of wireless communications. Alright, so with that, this brings me to the end of my topic. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Taking the world you see